lands of the prehistoric planet were ruled by the dinosaurs. But the seas were dominated by a very different group of reptiles, the mosasaurs. And this is the skull of one of them. Mosasaurs were seagoing lizards. Think of a giant, swimming, whale-sized Komodo dragon. Tapered snout, rough skin, four fins instead of normal limbs, and a long tail that would look a lot like a shark tail, but upside down. That's basically a Mosasaur. The largest was Mosasaurus Hoffmani. It was an ambush predator. But what was the secret of its success? They can move from just still, not moving at all, to incredible speeds right before your eyes. In the modern world, we see this ability in reptiles like crocodiles. Their muscles can deliver short bursts of tremendous power. Mosasaurs, given that they're reptiles, given that they're lizards, probably had similar capabilities in their muscles. They also had another adaptation that could increase the element of surprise. One of the tricky things about swimming is you need a special kind of dynamic to get out of the gate quickly, to do the equivalent of a sprinter start from the blocks. And one of the best ways of doing that is to bend yourself into a C shape and then push off of the wall of the side of your body. Fish today use this technique. Known as a C start, it allows them to accelerate from a standstill to full speed in an instant. Mosasaurs likely were able to do something very similar, but of course at a much grander scale. So exactly how fast could a giant like Mosasaurus Hoffmani actually swim? To find out, the prehistoric planet team commissioned a unique scientific study. Until recently, no one had really attempted to estimate these kinds of performance values in detail. Our work is one of the first attempts to really put numbers to the abilities of these animals. And the results we got from that are really pretty stunning. The team ran the calculations four times to ensure they were correct. All four of the different trials came to the same overall conclusion these animals were able to generate massive accelerations. This mosasaur could probably clear 75% of its body length in one single second. That means if that mosasaur is 17 meters away from you, in one second, it will be 75% closer. And in the second second, it would have surpassed you and probably eaten you along the way. Being hit by a mosasaur would be a bit like being hit by a full-size semi-truck. Just the impact of the animal alone, much less the bite that would follow, would kill a lot of its prey instantly. Mosasaurs could reach 30 miles an hour in as little as one second. This is what makes them arguably the ultimate marine predator of all time.